hello everyone so today we are going to implement this uh, line rendering pause process effect this is the preview so we are going to implement this post process material from scratch so you can use this uh, material to get some stylized look into the projects so as you can see all of these grass blades and these uh, landscapes trees character everything has a line in the edge so for this tutorial i am going to use uh, reuse the material that i implemented yesterday uh, for this outline material so this is also a post process material which allows us to render an outline for any selected object uh, any object that we mark using that post process material so i'm going to use the same code here so i will put a link to this video in the description below as well so yeah let's see how to do this now okay now this is that material so if i have marked this object to render custom depth pass we get this outline effect for that particular object so this is that material and here uh, i forgot to mention something you can see some flickering effect in the edges in the line so we can actually avoid that if we change the material blendable location to before tone mapping if i enable that you can see we don't have that flickering effect anymore this is something i forgot to mention last uh, yesterday but we need that point that option today also okay so now uh yeah now to implement um line rendering for all the objects in the world so for that uh, we can't actually rely on uh, uh, on the custom depth so first let me select this object and disable custom render custom depth pass because that's not relevant for what we are going to do today uh, and this is that material let me duplicate it and mpp line rendering Let's rename it and in the post process volume and post process materials. Let's use this new line rendering material. Here I'm going to change this. Uh, instead of using the custom depth for all three of these nodes i'm going to change it to scene depth right now see you can already see a line on this object so see <clears throat> now we do have a line but it's uh, somewhat weird see uh, there is almost no line outline for this character uh, only we only get an outline for the objects that in the further away so we can prevent that um, by changing <coughs> the value of this divider so this is 10,000 so if there is no higher difference in between these uh, slightly changed depth values we don't get a line if i reduce this we will get a line even if there is a small difference in the same depth but now that happens the background becomes completely dark because the depth 
difference between two pixels uh, would be much higher for the objects that we have further away in the scene so for the pixels that are further away in the scene need to have a higher divider value instead of a constant so how can we do that so for that actually we can get this same depth value and get vector length so this will give us uh, a float value which represents the depth uh, the distance from the camera to that particular um, object so let's use this as the divider now you see we have outlines for the objects closer and also outlines for the objects in the distance but uh, for the character also we have but i think it would be better if we can make this outline a bit thicker so for that what we have to do is let's add a multiplier before putting it here Mm, not a multiply actually a divider uh, wait what if I increase this let's put 10 mm, no that's not actually good let's keep 3 <coughs> right but it's still we have the effect of course mm, let's try adding a divider here or let's just say multiply I'm not sure and here let's promote this to a variable distance factor if I keep it zero, obviously everything becomes black. If I make it one, it's like we don't have a multiplier at all. If I make it a higher value, the thickness reduced. The outline thickness is reduced, see. And if I use a decimal value, let's try 0.5. Now we have a good outline effect. Right, according to your need, you can of course modify this and come up with the desired value you want. But yeah, now we have the effect. Mm. I got point 0.8. Maybe 0.5 is better. Alright, so anyway, here is the material. So, yeah, that's how, that's one way to implement a line rendering post process effect. And I'm gonna stop this episode right here. So, thanks for watching. As always, project files will be available for the download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.